Hi and welcome to Export Kit. In this example, I'm excited to demonstrate our new export React. So be sure to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's jump right in. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do because uh, we're going to React and there are a few uh, slight changes with it, we're going to want to disable hide overflow and we're going to want to enable hybrid. But once we have these two options uh, selected, what we're going to do next is we're just going to hop over to React Native. So you can see here we have a typical design for, I guess you could call it a mobile. So let's go ahead, let's export this to see how this runs. Once we have our exported files, you'll see that it created all the required JavaScript files along with our CSS and there are two additional files which will help you to get started really quickly. One is our util and another is our app. Now if we jump right into VS Code, you'll see that we have basically a bare base React app. Uh, there's nothing really here. You can see app.js, it's just the default. So what we're going to do to get this running, we're going to copy our skins to our public folder. And then next we're going to copy all our source files to source. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to link our EK app. If we take a look at EK app, you'll see that it builds the route. Oh, I should get the team to change this to lowercase. Uh, but either way, we can still test. So it'll build the routes that are required uh, for each individual page. Uh, so let's take a look at how we can connect it. So the fastest way to do this is to simply replace app with EK app. Now, of course, if you have your running project, you're likely going to want to mix and match uh, the classes as required. Let's go ahead and save. Now, one thing that's very important while it's building is that you're going to need React DOM uh, simply because we use it. Uh, sorry, not React DOM. <laughs> what am I talking about? You're going to need uh, the routes. So you're going to need the router. Uh, well, it'll come with all the classes that are required. So the React Router DOM uh, when you're using the plugin and the exports. So let's just wait for it to build and then we can test. Okay, so it built our first page. And let's look at others. Oops, I pushed the wrong backslash. There's updates. There's news. Now, mind you, we did not optimize this design in any way. You can see that there are some, I guess, layers that the designer did not hide, slash. Well, let's not get into habits. There's another. And you can see in essence, it loaded our entire React application. <laughs> so that was pretty fast and pretty easy, all with Export Kit in a couple of clicks.